I'm glad to see you all survived the great YouTube blackout of 2018. I was so scared. <laughs> hey gadget groupies, instead of doing the work that I need to get done right now because YouTube is down, I thought I'd record a little video, just have something else for the channel for when YouTube decided to wake back up. And I, this is actually a quick question I wanted to throw out to the community, something I've been wanting to chat about in general as we get closer to the launch of one of the uh, the tech space's most popular enthusiast brands. I am, of course, talking about OnePlus. As we know, the OnePlus 6T is going to launch at the end of this month-ish. At least it'll be announced probably the end of this month. And uh, this is obviously not the 6T. This is the OnePlus 6. But I wanted to chat about some of our expectations and some of our concerns. The little bit of backstory, this is a brand that I've come to really appreciate in the tech space. When OnePlus first launched, I really did not like their marketing tactics, the way that they were launching their phones, their messaging, their branding, and how they were trying to build this uh, this enthusiast audience. Over the years, they have won me over though. There is a really interesting argument to be made about trying to deliver a refined and focused smartphone, a premium feeling smartphone, which can be sold for significantly less than the high-end flagship competition. Instead of having a broader catalog, of phones, you know, this game of having a flagship at the beginning of the year, or flagship at the end of the year, technology has subtly evolved during that time, but they have different features and they're aimed at different demographics. OnePlus aims to streamline that. It's a novel strategy that I really like. As technology improves, so does the phone. They only sell one device. Every six months or so, they just switch over their manufacturing and that's the current OnePlus device to get. But I'd be lying if I said I did didn't have some concerns over this next refresh. From what's been officially announced, there's a lot to look forward to. Minimizing the impact of the notch for a greater screen to body ratio, the addition of an under the display fingerprint sensor, moving it to the front of the phone again. And while there won't be a direct chipset bump, there is no new Qualcomm hardware for OnePlus to take advantage of. Manufacturers over this period of time always manage to find ways to extract just a little bit more horsepower out of this hardware. If you've been following my channel, you know what I'm driving at though. I am a little concerned about the loss of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And it seems to be coming at just the right time for a certain flavor of consumer exhaustion. A lot of people who used to get up in arms about losing this hardware seem to be resigning themselves to the inevitable loss of this amazing universal standardized audio port. So this is a quick take video. I'm throwing the question out to you fine folks. Do you think that the collection of improvements that we are apt to see on the OnePlus 6T will be enough to counterbalance the loss of my precious beloved headphone jack. And how do you think OnePlus is going to deal with this strategy of removing the hardware from the phone? Do you think we're gonna get a high quality DAC in the box? Do you think they're gonna pull an Apple move and make us buy it separately? Uh, could we hope and wish and pray for maybe some Bluetooth solution that's gonna be included in the price of the phone? Is that too much to hope for? Probably too much to hope for. And for you fans of the OnePlus brand out there watching videos like these, I know we're all getting kind of anxious about the next phone release, will you be voting with your wallet trying to get your hands on a OnePlus 6 now to keep the headphone jack, or are you gonna hold off and see what they deliver on the 6T? Again, all these interesting questions, I hope you'll drop me some comments down below. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching. There's gonna be a ton of news coming up the end of this month. So many phones to get our hands on, to do comparisons, to do camera reviews, to do audio reviews, to really dig into all this hardware and, Man, this is gonna be a busy couple of weeks. And I would not be able to continue production on this channel without the amazing support from the folks over on Patreon. You're seeing the list of names on the screen. These are all the folks who went over to patreon.com slash some gadget guy and joined that community. They participate in the comments on the posts and they get exclusive access to all of my camera and audio deep dive reviews. It's shaping up to be a fun community of like-minded tech pals. So I hope you'll check it out. Patreon.com slash some gadget guy. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and I will catch you all on the next video. Okay, Google, remind me in nine months to see if the birth rate spiked after YouTube went down.